early evening in Bangkok, and the city is ablaze in a sea of lights from skyscrapers and signs advertising its famous nightlife. It's a sight to behold, but a massive use of energy and a growing environmental hazard. Thailand's consumption of power is amongst the highest in Asia. Derived mainly from gas, coal and lignite, it's also responsible for half the country's greenhouse gas emissions. To reduce emissions, the government, its private sector partners and international stakeholders are looking towards the sun. In the central province of Lopri, construction of a 73-megawatt solar power plant is underway. Upon its completion in 2012, it will be one of the largest solar photovoltaic projects in the world. It's a relatively new technology. It has become prominent in the last two or three years when the capacity has been sort of growing at a very fast pace world over. It is being driven by the concerns over climate change. Everybody wants to lower the emissions from coal-based or other fuel, fossil fuel-based power plants. The Asian Development Bank is lending up to $70 million to Thailand's natural energy development company to build the Lopri plant. The plant uses thin film semiconductors, which are cheaper to produce than other types of cells. Thin films also work better in countries such as Thailand that have higher than average temperatures but where clouds create diffuse rather than concentrated light. This plant basically takes the sunlight, the photon from the sunlight convert it into, directly into electricity and then the electricity will go into the substation and uh, uh, convert into uh, AC and then feed into the local uh, electricity grid. The Lopri plant will generate electricity for around 50,000 households and benefit the local economy. We're creating jobs in the community. Uh, at the moment, we have over 1,000 workers working on the site. And also, in the future plan, we want to have a, a, a sustainable community relation program, whereby we have a learning center on the site for the visitor, a local visitor, students, to learn about renewable energy. More importantly, the plant will provide an incentive and create a pathway towards cleaner, environmentally friendly forms of energy that authorities hope will become mainstream in the next decade in Thailand, Asia and throughout the world.